Hello, human-shaped friends. Uh, today is another mushroom. Another nice, hopefully somewhat relaxing time-lapse of a mushroom. Or at least it would be relaxing if I didn't pick the ear mushroom. It's a mushroom that literally looks like ears growing off of a tree. Apparently, I was in a mood. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you on that one. Uh, <laughs> they're weird. They're weird looking mushrooms. This was an another, this was another kind of frustrating one to make. Um, it just was, I don't know, maybe it was the darks, maybe it was the browns. Maybe it's because the entire time I was making it, I was thinking to myself, why? Why am I bothering? Why this mushroom? Why am I not including the log? I think the log would be more fun to paint right now than painting these ears. I should really paint more trees. What am I talking about? I hate painting trees. Oh no, I'm messing it up. Oh no, I'm messing it up. Just add black to it. Just add, add, add darkers. That'll make everything better. Oh no, I made everything worse. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, that's basically my thought process uh, the entire time I was painting this. Apparently the end results are fine according to those who have seen it, but I disagree. <laughs> I tried very hard to include all of those reflective colors, the undertones, the, the things that would make it not just be a brown concaved blob. And I feel like I failed. Which is fine. <laughs> Maybe it's because I've just been making so many tiny things. Because I have. I've been very consistent in small things. As previously stated, because I live in a tiny apartment. And I don't have storage. And I don't want things to go awry. And... Maybe I'm just tired of making small things. Maybe I'm just tired of the details. No, that's a lie. I love doing detail work. Detail work is fun. I don't know. Maybe I'm just in a mood. That could be it. It could be the depression. It could be the anxiety. It could be the agoraphobia. It could be the fact that I have less rights than a corpse. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I know my normal rambles have some kind of, like, topic. A stream of consciousness that you can almost follow. A train with clearly marked stops and stations that are decorated and labeled. This is not that. This is me painting a mushroom, thinking I'm doing horribly the entire time. Finishing, thinking, yeah, it's pretty horrible. Then looking at the actual mushroom and being like, well... Maybe that's just accurate. But I didn't want to just do, like, normal-looking mushrooms. Normal mushrooms are fine and dandy, but I'm trying to keep myself interested? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. No one knows. Yeah. So, it's really warm where I am, and I do very poorly in the heat. Wow, what a quick topic change. I know, I just felt like I was getting really sad. Anyway, back to the heat. Um, I always have. When I was a kid, I lived in a desert and I was miserable all of the time. And I actually got a heat stroke a couple of times. And if you know anything about heat stroke, the more you get it, the easier it is for you to get it. So I die in the heat. I actually got heat stroke going to the grocery store like last month. Uh, cause it was like a hundred, 105, 115, somewhere in that area. And I, I don't know, I got really dizzy and my vision got really dotted and I was physically hot to the touch and I couldn't regulate myself and everything was wrong and I, I had a hard time communicating that. I hate the summer. I hate the summer. I'm a fall person. I'm an autumn person. 
I am a dead winter person. Summer can go away. I know people who like the summer and they're allowed to like the summer. And I'm allowed to hate the summer. And I do. I hate the summer. So, if you're one of those summer people who doesn't like the winter, how about we trade? I'll take your winters and you take my summer and then we'll all be happy because that's totally how that works, right? It's not. Wish it was. Watercolors require something that I do not always have and maybe that's okay. It's part of the reason I play with them. Talk to you next time. Maybe I'll be more cohesive. Maybe I'll have a theme. Maybe I'll have people asking questions. Who will know? Guess I'll just have to tune in to find out.